Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. If you remember in the last video that we did, we showed how we can insert a camera into our scene and then how we can select the camera so we can view our model or our an entire scene with it. But we also as well looked at a few of the little tricks and little things we could do with cameras, which if you haven't seen that video yet, you'll be able to have a look up in the top right of the screen right now. Uh, well, what we're doing in this video is this is in response to a question that I've had off the back of that, which is how can we set it up so that our model's eyes can look at the camera and can track the camera. So if we move the camera around, the eyes will move around with it so that our model is always looking straight down the camera. Well, this video, we're going to take a look at that and plus a few other little things that we can do on a similar vein. So what we have over here then, if we have our, our model, this is a roaring scary viking uh, all dressed up ready for war ready to kill somebody uh, but as we can see her eyes are looking off over to the left or our left or her right uh, and she's not actually looking at the present danger in front of us which is ourselves who are looking down this camera straight at her so what we're going to do we're going to select her eyes and we're going to get the eyes to automatically look at the camera and then follow the camera if and when we move it around and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to come up to where we have uh, our our scene tab up here and we're going to expand out the warrior and then expand out the Genesis 9 model that we're using. And then if we keep expanding it out until we come all the way down to where we can see the, the bones that control the eyes of our model. Now, there's one thing that you're going to have to do before you do this, and that is uh, you need to come down to the parameters tab give that a right click and come to preferences and what you want to do on here is you want to make sure that consolidate properties is ticked and the display separate items are unticked now you don't realistically have to do this but what this allows you to do is to select both eyes at once and then apply things to them at the same time you can do this without just setting these two things that, that i've just pointed out here but you'll have to do what we're about to do with each individual eye but what those allow us to do is to be able to select both eyes and then if we were to do this by hand for instance we could move both the eyes around as you can see over there in the viewport uh, but that's just by using the morphs that we're using but because we want it to to track the camera what we need to do is select both the eyes as you can see there that we've got in the the, the scene tab and then we need to come into the parameters tab and you know we need to come to this constraints uh little menu option that you've got here and you'll see that it says point at and, and currently it says none if you're on a really old version of daz uh daz 4.17 4.164 but i'm not sure where, where it changed uh the constraints menu that we're looking at won't actually be constraints it'll be i think it was called misc back in the day m-i-s-c uh but click misc or in later versions of dags it constraint and then once you find this point at a uh, little box give it a click where it says none and this dialog window will open up and what this will allow us to do is to allow us to make our eyes which is what we've got selected point at whatever it is that we want to point her at so if we click the camera that we're currently looking through as you can see we've got that selected in the viewport if we click that camera and then we come down to accept if you watch your eyes you'll see your eyes will flip around to where our camera is and if we were to move this camera around if we were to come all the way over here you'll see her eyes will keep following us wherever we go so she's over there now and if if she were to come way down there her eyes will be looking up at us and we're not going to get high enough there but so yeah as you can see then the eyes are now actually following the camera uh and it's done exactly that we wanted it to do now there's one word of warning with this and i might not be able to replicate this because it, it's very very finicky if you get the camera in the wrong place whether it's too close to the model or it's too far away from the model usually too close the eyes can go a little bit cockeyed so you want to be careful when you do that it's, it's maybe one eye will, will be off you know as they're trying to both trying to look at and focus on the same point so you've got to be careful with it make sure that you don't have your camera too close for those eyes to go a bit cockeyed like i said it's a little bit hard to uh to get it right and sometimes it might be at angles or whatever it could be but you can end up with the eyes looking cockeyed as i said it's it's, it's hard to replicate but 
uh, it's something to be aware of if you're using this method to get the eyes looking at the camera. Now, of course, you don't have to just settle for the eyes to look at the camera. You can have those eyes look at anything that you want in scene. So what we're going to do is if we just quickly come up to create and we come up to primitive and we come and we make a little sphere in here and we don't want it 100 foot, that's quite a bit big. Uh, we'll make it something like a, a four inch sphere. Okay, and we click accept. Uh, if we now come down to the perspective camera, we can see this little ball that we have here. If we give that a click and make sure I'm on the right selector, and we just bring it up here for a moment and come back to our camera. Uh, and I'll just get this camera into scene, or this sphere into scene. We can do exactly the same thing and have our character character's eyes, our model's eyes, actually look at this sphere. So again, we've got our eyes selected in the scene tab. We can come to, to, to constraints, give it a click. And instead this time of uh, pointing it at the camera, incidentally, if we wanted it to to reset we'd select none down here but if we want to change the eyes from looking at the camera to, to instead look at this sphere we just select the sphere in the dialog box hit accept and our eyes will move now to where this sphere is and if we move the sphere around you can see there our eyes are going a little bit dodgy because obviously the, the sphere there is embedded into her head but if we were to just move it out and then we can just move it around see how sometimes they are a little bit cockeyed so you've got to be careful with them uh, and the way that you do this. And as we move it around, as you can see, our eyes are now following the sphere round and round as we move it around. Uh, so don't just restrict yourself to, to have the eyes looking at the camera. You can have the eyes look at anything you want in a scene. Anything, if you want them to look. If you've got a character holding something in the hand, you can have the, the eyes look down at the hand or you know if there's another model in scene you can have them looking at that model uh so don't just restrict yourself with a camera but also be aware that in doing this you can sometimes you know make it where your models look a little bit cockeyed if if you get it wrong or in too close or in the wrong position so be aware of that and there you go that is how we make the model and the character that we're using look at the camera or any other object thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye bye for now